Yo, what is my one and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool Collider Tile Mirror Effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see, this is what the effect this is what the effect looks like right there. It's just a normal video, just playing normally with no effects, and all of a sudden, as you can see right there, it splits into three parts um, right there. Now, I'm going to go over two different ways um, to create this effect. And you can you know make the make this judgment on which one um, you like the best. Now, one thing to keep in mind is when you're going to do this effect, you probably want a pretty wide shot of the subject right there. As you can see right here, here is a very very wide um, shot. So if I go ahead and head over here um, to the tile right here, go to tile and then go to collide tile right there. As you can see right here, now this is what the effect looks like. Wait for it to render. A little bit as you can see there you go now you can extend it right here we'll change the angle to zero right here and then as you can see right here you can just adjust the height and width um, right there so you basically just keep adjusting until you get the look that you want right there now, as you can see right here and this is why I said it's probably a good idea to have a pretty wide shot as you can see it's a very close up shot right there it kind of blends into get into each other and it looks really weird so this is what it looks like you know what was really you know, close to each other or really a tight shot but as you can see as it gets to a much more wider shot it looks a lot cooler so I mean that could definitely look pretty cool be like right there you could start with the effect probably want a pretty wide shot right there so I just did with the one hand just press command V the blade tool click on this clip right here in the beginning and then just delete the collider tile um, right there so you can see right here now the collider tile is you know deleted off the first clip right there and then we'll just do like a hard jump cut into the end right there where you have um, the collider tile so I click on the clip right here, here is the collided tile right here. Now as you can see right here, you could adjust the rotation right here. So you could create a look like that um, right there. Now granted there's some black spots, so you want to maybe scale it up a little bit. You could of course, you know, adjust the height and the width of the, uh, the height right here. So you could keyframe the height to kind of have it animate. You could keyframe the width to have it animate. So as you can see right here, there we go, that's, you know, one look right there. If um, that's a look that you want to go for right there, as you can see right there, you have that look um, right there. Basically, it's just like an endless idea or endless possibilities for this effect. You could change the mix right there if you don't want the um, mirror effect, but I don't think you probably would want to mess with that. You could mess with the center right here. You can keep centering it. I guess if that's the effect you want to go for, then by all means go for that. Like I said before, you could keyframe the uh, width. You could keyframe the height right here. And then of course you could keyframe the angle right here to create this really cool kind of trippy effect. Obviously all you gotta do is uh, place a keyframe on whatever one you want to animate, then go to the end and change um, the duration. Just in case you want to animate, I'm not gonna animate um, in this video right there. Cause I'm, per I'm personally you know, pretty happy with this look right here. I saw this in a video of Cam Newton, where it's kind of like the normal video, and then all of a sudden, as it's to a wider shot, it cuts to him basically mirroring. It's a pretty cool and interesting um, effect. Definitely go ahead and let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this effect. I'm personally not a big fan of a mirrored effect, but I've seen uh, a mirror effect in like high production um, or like well respected um, pages on, on Instagram and stuff like that, like the, uh, the NFL. I see a lot of people, um, video editors, doing this mirror effect. So apparently, it's a you know well-respected um, effect and people are you know okay with this effect again like I said before I'm honestly not a huge fan of this effect but that's a personal preference another thing you can do is you can apply the mirror effect right here do as you can see that kind of creates a different look right there now you can of course change um, the angle right here so you can go ahead and just change um, the angle right there but as you can see there we go now that kind of creates um, the effect right here so let's go ahead and just gotta move this over so as you can see that's one effect but as you can see it's really hard to get that person centered you can't really get them centered you can move the mirror effect right there but as you can see right here it just the effect uh, is completely different than the collider tile this one where the person kind of splits right here but as you can see there's no way to move this in the center like I, if I at the x-axis right here I could try to you know scale it up right there but this is just it's much more of a pain to use the mirror effect to adjust the scale you have to adjust the position so in my opinion opinion I'm honestly um, a much bigger fan of the collider tile 
Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. But that's just a couple different options. You can either use the mirror effect, which creates a mirror effect. Uh, no shocker there. Or you can go with the, the tiling effect, and you could go to the collider tile right here. As you can see right here, let's just kind of mess with. Imagine you kind of have like an animating like this, or something. Like, you know, you could do something like that. So you just kind of animate, create like a really cool, it'd be a really cool effect for like a music. Um, video effect right here definitely no not the most you know practical um, effect out there but it definitely has a time and place and it can definitely look um, a lot it definitely can look pretty cool so it just depends on which look you want to go for if you want to go for that mirror effect where kind of like reflecting off himself that's one way to go it's much more you a lot less control the mirror effect versus the colitis the collider tile right here you have as you can see right here here's the collider tile. you have a mu you have much more manual you have a lot more manual control um, over this um, effect anyways that's pretty much it that's pretty much this really cool collider tile um, mirror effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you need this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 210 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.